Okay, so you are welcome to today's lesson. Uh, what is still a continuation of what we have done uh, for the past few weeks. Uh, the topic is still on the block lettering. Today we will look at yet another five alphabets. We will construct alphabet K, L, M, N, and the last one will be O. So we we'll begin with the squares. You rule the vertical and the horizontal lines to intersect each other to create the squares. So over here I have the squares ready. You have the first one for K followed by L, M, N and O. But then the squares for M is quite different. Instead of the usual three squares, we'll be using five against five. You will explain for that when you get there. All right, so we'll begin with alphabet K. So I'll start by indicating some points. And then I'll use the rule. I'll put the rule on this point and I'll draw diagonal line or fringe line to touch this point. I'll do another one here. I'll draw diagonal line, broken line too. And I'll come up here, I'll do a reverse of it. So at this stage, let's say the alphabet K is about 60% complete. So <coughs> we'll deepen the broken lines so that it will begin to stand out from the background. That's it. It's about 95% um, complete. I will switch to the marker so that it will stand out clearly. So that's it. The alphabet K is ready. I'll shade with dots so that it will stand out from the construction lines. The squares are only helping us to enable us to get the construction of the alphabet done. So that's it. I'll move on to L. <coughs> so you Observe a space before you start the next alphabet. So, I will not demand the indication of any point. It's very simple. So, that is L.
All right, so now it's time for the complex one, which is um, M. M is complex, so I want you to pay particular attention here. It's complex. Okay, so we'll start M by marking these points over here, over there, over this one, and here. We'll join these points together with a straight line. Drawing this one to then we'll draw diagonal line from here to touch this point, another one from here. Note that the diagonal line must be broken. Then we'll do a reverse form. Draw diagonal line, it must be broken. Since you'll be using pencil, you can make it faint lines. So we'll draw another one here. We'll draw another one through this one here. We'll come here, we'll draw a reverse form. So it looks clumsy. Um, at this stage, I, I can confidently say that the M is about 90% complete. So I'll, I'll be joining the line so that it stands out, so that you see it clearly. Faint lines together with straight line. So, as you can see, the M is ready. You shade it with dots to ensure that it stands out from the construction lines. So we'll move on to N, alphabet N. <coughs> so I'll switch to the pen and then later I'll finish it with the the marker again you have to leave a space or a gap and then you commence with what the next alphabet will just end so you block these lines and that then you draw a diagonal line through first one is from here to touch the bottom then you do another one you can use faint lines so that is it I'll quickly switch to the marker again Then we'll look 
got the last alphabet which is O. Um, given the <coughs> the curve outlines of the alphabet, you have to use coins. I'll be using my free hand, but I advise you to use your coins. So you get the curves or the axe. Do the inner axe. You repeat it at the bottom. You join them together with straight lines. So that is it. So let me write your homework here. You repeat what I've done today as your homework. You construct K L M and O in block. Submit it to me by email or WhatsApp. My number is zero two four six. Eight two three nine seven two. All right. So that's the end of the lesson. Make sure you do the homework. You submit it to me not later than Sunday evening. All right. Take care. Bye bye.